Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Madijin Malen. I am the Deputy Director General responsible for intergovernmental relations. So this is the division that is responsible for oversight over provincial and local government budgets. So I would like to welcome you to this uh, workshop on local government accountability. This is a very important initiative for us at National Treasury to open our finance and municipal finance data to the civil society. This is for us about uh, increasing transparency so that we can increase the accountability over the finances of municipalities. When in the design of our system of local government, which we have been implementing since uh, 2000, it has been contingent on active citizens and organized civil society vigilantly exercising oversight and holding their municipalities accountable. While our local government planning and budgeting legislation mandates citizens' participation in setting priorities and budget allocations, we do acknowledge that over the years this has not necessarily improved but in fact, the quality of this uh, participation and oversight by civil society has declined. This indeed, in this time of fiscal constraints uh, budgets, does not serve us as NT in our mandate to ensure that the finances of government are efficiently and effectively utilized. Our priority for fiscal consulta consolidation and inclusive economic growth demands that we get value out of each and every rand spent. Therefore, higher rates of quality in services we deliver is quite critical. We acknowledge that over the years, we have been losing the battle as we see endemic corruption, mismanagement and underperformance in all the spheres of government. This together with poor spending capacity has certainly undermined the impact of the counter-cyclical measures that we implemented in our fiscal policy following 2008-9 global economic crisis, which is reflected by significant growth in our debt stock, but which in some respects did not necessarily improve to the extent that we would have liked the quality and, and quantity of access to services government delivers. Our imperative now to grow the economy and improve the quality and quantity of access to services with much less to spend makes it all the more necessary that the citizens and society play their role vigilantly oversight. Our hard-won democracy demands this. Therefore, we believe availing credible information timely is important to empower and equip citizens to play this role meaningfully. It is now clear that the local government elections will be held on the 3rd of August 2016. In the campaign processes, people will need to be asking their political representatives some difficult questions, and this will be informed by the amount of information that they have. The National Treasury has collected extensive municipal financial data following the introduction of uh, the, 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 the budgeting and reporting reforms in local government, we believe the quality of this data has been improving. This data is housed in our local government database and reporting system. The data goes as far back as 2003 and 4, and it includes information on budgets, on finance, financial performance, which includes actual expenditures and revenue, financial position of municipality, reflecting its assets and liabilities, some information on municipal service delivered performance, and some information on filling of uh, municipal uh, senior management posts. We believe that this data is now sufficiently reliable, and especially the one that uh, represents uh, the term of office from 2011-2016, we believe that uh, it is important for us now at this point to share this information publicly. The National Treasury is seeking therefore to open this municipal finance data 
and make it widely available in order to increase transparency, strengthen civic oversight, and promote accountability. In his 2016 budget speech, the Minister of Finance did indicate that National Treasury will launch a data portal to provide stakeholders with comparable verified information on municipal finance, which we hope will stimulate in citizen in involvement in local governance. Local governance. Initially, we had hoped that we will produce this citizen analysis as a way of sharing this information. However, we realize that we are unlikely to cater for all the analytical needs the civil society may have. And it is also not appropriate that once again, we as government become the sole interpreter, interpreters of this data to the citizens. While we will be developing an example of a citizen analysis of municipal finance, it is more important for us that we open the data for researchers, for open data activists, entrepreneurs, to develop their own applications and analysis using different um, media. We have thus partnered with Code for SA in commissioning an open data, an open interface for our database with guidelines and marketing and support to potential users. We are further developing with Code for SA and guided by this interaction, interaction like the one that we are having today with the civil society organizations, a demonstration application for citizens. We will soon be hosting a data quest um, involving developers within the open data community who will be developing concrete applications using this data. We have further solicit solicited the interest of donors such as Indingo Trust, who are interested in funding the development of the data of, of these um, initiatives, that of the initiative of the best initiative that will arise out of this data quest project. And we do thank the data quest for their early involvement in this process. For us, this goes beyond lip service to the cost of open data. We believe we are going beyond just sharing safe and inconsequential data sets. We are sharing one of our most strategic data sets. However, this is not the end. In future, the financial data on this database will, be, will need to be complemented by other sets of performance data that we are currently intended to be incorporating into the same platform. We are not yet there, but we do intend sharing this information as it becomes available. The information on tenders and payments of suppliers has been called for internationally. And we are looking at what needs to be done to make this information available. Firstly, to collect this information consistently on our side, and secondly, to share this information more broadly. We do hope that this initiative and our consultation with you today represents the start of us working with you on all this initiative incrementally and in the process ensure that we are increasing the transparency of our information to ensure greater accountability coming from the strengthening and improvement in your oversight of municipal finance. I thank you.